The Fever have been playing the best of the best in the WNBA coming out the gate because the, the WNBA want to make money off of this Caitlin Clark thing. They want to make money off of it, so they put all their best teams, loaded them up front for her to play so they could be on TV. Y'all can watch the WNBA talent. That's what they did. Not realizing how much it would be a detriment to your star, the face of the, the WNBA. And I don't care if y'all didn't pick her, but I told you, Nike picked her, Wilson picked her, State Farm picked her. These are the people that picked her. Gatorade, they picked her because they know how much money they can make off of her. You know what? If I knew Kaylin Clark personally, I would tell her to hell with that Olympic team shit. Don't worry about that right now. You need to focus on what's right in front of you. What's in front of you is the FIBA basketball team. What's in front of you last night was the dream. That was what's in front of you. And what's coming up next is the sky. You got your, your second match against Angel Reese. And that's what you need to be getting ready for. Who cares about this Olympics and you not getting picked? But I tell you this. If somehow, some way they can get you on that team, do not reject it. Do not reject it. And I'm telling you now, don't reject it because you do not know what's going to happen to you in the future. I hear all the people saying that, okay, let's be okay with not getting picked for that the Olympic team because she can, they got four more years. You don't know what the hell going to happen in the next four years. You don't even know what's going to happen in the next four hours, four minutes. You do not know what's going to happen to you in life. None of this stuff is promised. It's not guaranteed. And that you talk about four years, you know what could happen in four years? Anything can happen to her. Well, she suffered an injury where she couldn't play again. And she missed the opportunity of going to play for the Olympics and getting a gold medal. You do not pass up your opportunities, people. I don't care what nobody say to you, especially for her, because I know she really want to go. You don't think when they said they made her alternate that somewhere in the back of my she's like, yes. I know she probably also thinking about taking some time off. But remember with this. She said, oh, I'm built for this. I can play all these basketball games. I, I play like this all the time. I don't think she's as tired as people believe she is. I think that her and her team aren't meshing up well. I think that they don't have, they didn't have enough time to learn each other. That's what I see. Because last night's game was a damn good game from them. From them as a whole. I don't give up. I don't care what the hell you think about Kaylin Clark and her stats. The hell with y'all on that. If y'all come in here and go talk shit about it with that, because you can't talk shit about all the other times you dropped 30 and 20. Yes, you dropped three in one game, but they're playing against the Aces. They won a championship twice. The Fever have been playing the best of the best in the WNBA coming out the gate because the, uh, the WNBA want to make money off of this Caitlin Clark thing. They want to make money off of it, so they put all their best teams, loaded them up front for her to play so they could be on TV. Y'all can watch the WNBA talent. That's what they did. Not realizing how much it would be a detriment to your star, the face of the, the WNBA. And I don't care if y'all didn't pick her, but I told you, Nike picked her, Spall, uh, Wilson picked her, State Farm picked her. These are the people that picked her. Gatorade, they picked her because they know how much money they can make off of her. Y'all better get out y'all damn feelings. This is about making money. This is what this is all about, guys. This is about making money. That legacy you leave behind, if it don't got no ends behind it, no dollar signs, it's not a legacy at all. <laughs> it's nothing. It's your, your legacy should be able to take care of your family. What you leave behind, what you sow for your family, the seeds, trust me, that's income. That's what they care about. These girls get paid. I get paid more than the WNBA players. Did you see what I'm saying? So these girls go night in and night out out there and they ball they can ball and they're not getting paid for their services. But at the same time, y'all pissing on the one thing that can give y'all that damn money for everything y'all do out there. You saw what happened in the game last night when Kaylin, look, control the rock, find the players. Control the rock, find your teammates. Limit your turnovers. You pass it, you bounce passing, which you be chest passing or passing up high. You got a big player in the paint. And, and, and there was it Naisla? Was it Naisa? Laisa? I don't know. But Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry for messing up your name, girl. <laughs> but she's, she's one of your centers. So you give her the ball up high. You don't bounce pass to her. 
You pass it behind some players. Some of these, some of these issues are Caitlin's guys. Some of them are. Some of these turnovers are her issues. So the things that she needs to work on, she needs to work on protecting the ball. Her defense is getting better. It's getting way better. But the, it, she has some glimpses of old Kaylin. That's why they took her out the game. I know y'all know they took her out the game in the fourth quarter at the very end because they feel like she's a defensive liability. But I feel like her defense is better than Wallace. She's taller than Wallace. I understand. Kaylin has been out there and she's been producing. That's what she has to do. Drown out all this other noise, Kaylin. Drown it all out. And work on your game. Because Boston showed up last night. Boston showed up last night. 27 points, 13 rebounds, 2 assists. She showed up last night. And so did Mitchell. 24 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. They showed up. And that's a lot of people <laughs> talking shit about Kaylin saying that she was carried by them. Who gives a damn? Uh, what's it? Luca, Luca been carrying Kyrie all throughout the damn playoffs. Come on, man. It happens, especially when you got she. Listen, guys, she was number one. She was the number one draft pick last year. She's supposed to go out there and do that. And Kaylin's supposed to be able to find her. But these girls, they need an enforcer. I'm telling you, they need to go get Liz Cambridge. Is that how you pronounce the last name, Cambridge? They need to go get her. Pay her some money. Throw some money her way. Put her out there. Y'all need somebody to protect Kaylin. I'm telling you, that, that would dramatically turn this team around. Because I feel like they're going to go on a run. They got, they got the sky next. They got the sky. And I want Kaylin to go out there and tear their ass up. This is revenge. I mean, even though they won last time, this is revenge. Kennedy for pushing me. I want Kaylin to go out there and drop 30. As long as she hold on to the ball and she helps get, get the other players involved. Well, she can go out there and drop 20. Hell, she could play. She could turn to the John Stockton of their team, right? And just distribute, find everybody. Because John, John can score too. Stockton can score too. Trust me, that's what you need to be like, Kaylin. That's what you look like to me out there. <laughs> so that's this is what I want to see moving forward. What I saw last night. That was team play. I don't feel like Kaylin has a problem in the WNBA. I feel like she has a problem with fitting in with her team because she's new to this game. It's faster. The girls are stronger. They're more physical. They are. You, you should see it out there. If you're watching this game, you see these goddamn girls as physical as hell. They, I feel like they might be more physical than the NBA players. They, Yeah. Yeah, they be out there getting it. So this is everything that Kaylin's going to. And, and they already game plan for her. They're going to they gonna keep her from finding her spots on the court. They throw double teams at her. They throw full court press. They do that. It's the South Carolina blueprint. I told y'all. So she will get better as long as her team rallies around her. But you got to stop them turnovers, Caitlin. You got to limit the turnovers. I wouldn't. Last night's game would have been perfect for me. It really would have been perfect for me if you didn't have all those turnovers. I mean, you missed, you missed a lot of shots. She was, I think, 3 4 11. Right, and she was one for six for three, so she she missed a lot of shots, but that's okay. Like I said, this is growing pains. And fans, please don't abandon this girl. <laughs> don't leave her. Not right now, when she's so close, guys. This team is so close. They four and ten right now, and I think they two maybe two or three spots out of the playoff contention. The playoffs started. And I know guys are probably like, "Why you want to go to the playoffs, man? So they get beat?" I don't give a damn about that. This is playoff experience. This team that they have right now is pretty damn good. They just need a taller player. They, they look like they might be the smallest team in the league. In the draft, then they go find a, a big player. Then they go find a, a free agent that's a big to put out there, like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. You can find them. Coach, and you get rid of this damn coach. Get rid of her ass. I don't like coach sides for this team. I really think a, a new coach could change things around instantly. So I, these are things that I need to see change and that I can't wait to happen. Everything will get so much better then, guys. Do not abandon this team. I had fans talk about, man, I'm getting sick of this. I'm sick, sick and tired of beating up CC. I came to see her play and I get beat up. I was like, guys, please just relax. Relax. CC got to go out there and hold on. This is like letting your child go to school for the first time. And he come home and tell you all these things happen to him. You like, I want to take my kid out of school. No. He has to learn. CC has to learn, guys. And I think she's doing rather well for what's going on. I, I really do. I think she's doing rather well. It's her and Angel Reese right now for Rookie of the Year. They got, they got 40 games that they have to play. That, they only played 14. As they got a long schedule. But as of right now, at the top is Caitlin and Angel. They battling. Everybody else is 
No, nah, we don't even know. We don't even know who the other Rick Rickers are. Cameron Brink is getting shut down. I think she scored like three points in her last game. And she scored like in the single digits in a, like five or six games. So Kayla's really doing her thing. Y'all got to understand, it's hard out there. <laughs> it's hard out there for a pimp. It's hard out there for Kayla. But she getting it done, guys. Just relax, relax. What, what, what Aaron Rodgers say? Hey, relax. Aaron Rodgers, that is my time. I thank y'all for tuning in. Look, guys, don't abandon CC. Stay there with her. It's all going to work out, guys. Trust me. Trust me, the team did great. They did great, man. Samuelson dropped in 11. Even Lil Wheeler out there had like four points. She was effective in her time in the game. The only thing was a, a plus minus, a minus for Kaylin. She was like minus two. Everybody was like plus seven and eight, stuff like that. So that's what we're looking at. It's, it's a, she's a defensive liability as of right now. But that will change, guys. Give her some time. We're going to get ready for game, game two for them against the Sky. Coming up Sunday. I wish I could live stream it, man. If I find a way, I probably will. We can all sit there and try to watch it, talk about it together, man. That'd be so cool. But until then, guys, y'all take care. Peace. And if I didn't say this, y'all can't sit up here and tell this girl that to, to wait to go to the Olympics because you don't even know what's going to happen to her. She can get hurt. Like Greg Oden. Remember Greg Oden? Greg Oden got, look, Greg Oden got hurt and played like probably 20 games in the NBA. 20 games. But can you imagine if he didn't go to the NBA and he got hurt when he was in college? He win first round, first draft pick. So that means he got money. Take the opportunity. Go get you some money, bro. <laughs> Caitlin, don't pass up this money. Y'all know this is about money. It can't not be about money. Otherwise, why did they pick her first? They had the most televised games offered to the Fever because they knew they, they had to pick her first. This was not one of those movies where you don't pick Jordan first. They had to pick up first because it matched up with everything that they had going on business-wise. So WNBA, don't tell me this ain't about business when it comes to Kaylin. This is about feelings. And all of them, everybody's in their feelings when it comes to this girl. And I understand. I mean, because Jesus had haters too. <laughs> Y'all take care, man. Peace.